All right, let's come back and let's talk a little bit longer. In the last video, we ran a program that would run forever. Okay, we used while one equals one, and one is even always equal to one, so it would never leave that while loop, which meant, okay, it would go forever. Now, how about this code here? What we have is just a very simple program. We're gonna start a motor. We've done this before, right? We're gonna wait 30 seconds, and then we're gonna turn the motor off. That's all fine and dandy, but what if we wanted to set up something to happen while that motor was running? Okay, what if we didn't want to just wait 30 seconds to go to line 22 of the code? Because that's in essence what's going to happen here, okay? We're going to start the motor. We're going to wait 30 seconds before we make any more decisions. So if a button's pressed, a switch is hit, a sonar ranger takes a reading, doesn't matter. It's not going to care because it's going to wait for line 21 at 30 seconds before it goes on to line 22, where it finally learns, okay, now i got to turn off the motor, okay? Let's take a look at this code then. See, the V, the VEX Cortex actually has four stopwatches built into it, okay? four different timers. They're called T1, T2, T3, and T4. Okay? Now, just like a lot of different things, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we've actually cleared it out. We've reset it just like, you know, we've all had a stopwatch, maybe a wristwatch or something where you go to the lap mode or something to use the stopwatch and there's already something on it. Okay? We want to make sure that this is cleared out. So our first command, if we're going to use the timers that are built in, is to clear the timer every single time. Okay, Before the while loop even begins, we're going to clear a timer, and the name of the timer we're going to clear out is T1. Okay, So you have T1, T2, T2 T3, T4. We're using T1 here. Okay, The next step that we would want to do for this particular program then is start a loop, a while loop. Okay, And so in this particular case, let's say while the time 1 for timer T1 is less than 30,000. And notice the square brackets in the parentheses and the less than sign. Notice there's no semicolon, right? Again, it'd be a weird place to end a sentence there. While the timer is less than 30,000, okay, that doesn't make any sense. You can't end the sentence there. So no semicolon, okay? What we just did then is this. We set up a while loop. T1 is measured in milliseconds, okay? So that's thousands of a second. So 30,000 then would be 30,000 thousandths of a second. It'd be 30 seconds, okay? So basically just add some zeros to the end of the number you're trying to get, okay? So if less than 30 seconds has gone by, then it's going to go through and it's going to be checking all of the code that's in between lines 22 and 26. So what could we use this for? If you've ever gone to a, a, an arcade, a Chuck E. Cheese, or whatever it is, and you've popped a quarter into something like a pop-a-shot game, right? So you're sitting there, and you've got 30 seconds, or you've got a minute to make as many baskets as you can. This would be a great example of what the code might start with, very basic bones, okay? So I pop in a quarter. I have 30 seconds in order to score points. So during that 30 seconds, it's going through. It's keeping track of what's happening. It's adding points to my score, probably lots of points because I'm really good at pop-a-shot, okay? And then whenever that 30 second timer gets above 30, then it knows when it checks this thing to jump out of here, okay? Which means we're probably gonna stop, you know, out here. We're probably gonna have more code in line 27 where it says, you know, shut everything down, okay? That would be how to use a timer. Now, very clear, the thing that I wanna make here, the clear timer cannot be inside the while loop, okay? If I were to take this line of code, and if I happen to move it in here, I want you to understand that it's going to go through. It's going to check the time is less than 30,000. It's going to go through here, and it's going to clear it every single time. So then it's going to do down to here. It's probably not to 30, unless it took 30 seconds to get through this code. Okay, It's going to jump back up here, and then it's going to go clear the timer, and you're back to zero. So it's going to continually reset your stopwatch over and over again every time through the cycle. Right? Clear timer needs to be done before you get into the while loop so you don't accidentally clear it over and over and over and over again, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. That's how to use a timer to get something to happen for a given amount of time.